Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos every week. I share my own personal planning. I share planner reviews and I share an extra monthly video or Zoom call with my patrons. If you're interested in finding out about supporting me over there, that link is down in the description. Today's video is going to be a very different one though. This is the Erin Condren back to school box that I got sent by Erin Condren but it came one day before we are allowed to release our video content for this. I have no time to prep a video, but I really wanted to get it up here on YouTube, but with my normal schedule, you know, I work ahead and I'm like working on my next week's video. I just decided that we would do a really informal, just opening of all this stuff on here and just my first thoughts. So I have not checked out any of this loot, you guys. I don't, I can't even remember the last time I've done a video like this on here on YouTube. It's very rare. I've done videos like this on Instagram, but I just wanted it to be better quality for viewing and to be able to find by searchability. And so I wanted to pop it up here on YouTube. So it is going to be unedited, you guys, just completely like no rules, hold, no holds bar. Was that what they say? We're just gonna jump in and check this out. The box just showed up on my doorstep and I was like, yep, this is the only time I have to film it with one day left and trying to even get the thumbnail done and upload it and do the intro and the outro even if I don't edit it. So we're gonna jump in. Let's just do this and you guys can let me know how you like videos like this. We are gonna start with the biggest product so we can kind of clear this off. This is a repositionable weekly whiteboard and notepad. The notepad comes on it. So what this is, it's really interesting. You are supposed to remove this protective film. I will open it and show you from the back of the product. And they said, we recommend you keeping the film in case you want to remove and store your board again. And then you're supposed to stick it, your whiteboard, to a clean, flat, smooth wall, which we don't have any smooth walls in our house because all of them are textured. So that wouldn't work. Or surface, see surface recommendations to the right. Surfaces they recommend are flat surfaces that are not bumpy, coated walls, glass, non-direct sunlight, coated wood, and metal surfaces. Perfect for various home appliances. So it could definitely go on the side of your fridge. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Or if you have like a big enough magnet board in your office or whiteboard, this could definitely stick to there. Keep these care instructions. It tells you surfaces they do not recommend. It tells you how to care for your repositionable whiteboard. And it tells you about the refillable notepad, which they will they will be selling refills for. So make sure you keep those instructions on there. I want to show you how this works. Um, let's open it and see. So let me make sure we're in. This is as far out as I can go. This is like a whiteboard surface. And we will test it with some of these fine tip wet erase markers. We will definitely test it. But... There is sticky on the back of here. Now, I'm guessing it's not supposed to leave a sticky residue on your fridge or wherever you put it, but it's it's very sticky. So you stick it to the surface you want it on, and they say to keep this board, this foam thing, oh, it's really sticky, that's really sticky, to stick this to um, when you don't want it up. This is interesting. Fine tip, okay, wait. Write on dark wet erase surfaces and and wipe off. So these are fine tip wet erase markers. They're for dark, okay, wet erase surfaces. So this is not dark. Like you maybe I'm thinking of a dark um, whiteboard or chalkboard, right? Um, we'll try it on the darkest thing in here and see if it works. Hmm. I shook it up. There's one of those metal balls in here. I can hear it. Hmm. Okay, you guys, mine's not working right now. I'm trying to see if there's a tip to remove. Sorry, I was off camera. Um, let's try, let's just try a second one. I might have to try these off camera and then give you an Instagram update. Oh, it's those you have to punch down. So like a lot of ink is gonna be coming out on here. Okay, they're not working for me right now. I don't wanna use a whole bunch of time in the video. I will play with them and I will get back to you on those in a in an Instagram update. Okay, I don't see any other wet erase markers in there, so I can't really try this out, but I've used, oh wait, I think I even have some I can reach. <gasps> I do, I happen to have them in my cart right next to me because I'd been using them on the other like magnet wet erase things. 
So Erin Condren sells these wet arrays and you could do, you know, 10 to 12 soccer, put the family schedule on here, wipe it off. It wipes off with anything wet every week, like a wet wipe. And it does not wipe with just your finger unless you're sweating too much. So that is the wet erase. I really like the colors they've used. I love the new watercolor stripe. This hooks in here. There's a slot for you. And they're going to resell those. So a to-do list for the week. That is a really interesting product. Okay, let's move on. We're going to, we're done with that. We are going to look at, you know what? Let's look at the planners and stuff and we'll test the pens last. These look really fun. Pastel square highlighters. You know what? Just because I want to try them, we're just, we're going to cut in here first. And I'm trying not to spend too much time on each thing. to not make this video too extremely long, you guys. These are pastel square highlighters, a four pack. I don't actually have any square highlighters in my, in my stuff. Sage mauve orange sherbet and lavender i love the name of orange sherbet that they chose to name that let me come here to the mic if you saw a striped cover on something that is something i'm not supposed to show you yet <laughs> so i had to take that out of the screen the cover is nothing new they have that cover that item is not supposed to be shown yet till a later date so we will get to that at a later date let's look in here this is one of those three subject notebooks they've had these in years past because i've had one i like the new cover progress not perfection that's a cute cover in here you have tabbed pages which are thicker and they have that same brush stroke look with motivational quotes on the tabbed page you have it kind of divided up like a dashboard lined four maybe goals for the month, a box, and then a dot grid. I like how nothing's labeled. Every page is perforated, just like their notebooks. Then you have a whole big lined section. Then you have your next section, so you can definitely label these, whatever you need them. And this one's lined too with a dashboard. Okay, remember, I haven't checked any of these out. We're doing this together. And then another dashboard line section. Okay, so it's an all lined notebook but three different sections, three subjects with three dashboards. So for like three different classes to take notes and keep track of things and write whatever you need on the dashboard for that class. So let's do some testing of these. These are really pretty, first of all. They feel good in hand. Oh, those are fun to use. I think they're fun. Um, the lids are kind of hard to get off. Like they pop on there and like you have to give it a good tug. So I don't think these would be great for like young kids. Personally, I like probably their um, normal highlighter with the small tip and the big tip because the tips on these aren't quite as big. I'll show you. These tips are a little bit wider than the other tips, I believe. It seems like it at least when I'm writing. You know, these lids are hard to get off too now that I think about it, but I use these all the time and don't think about it. Let's see the tips. Yeah, it definitely, it's definitely a bigger tip. If you want a bigger, wider tip, which actually sometimes I do when I like to highlight like in fun in my journal where I'm like in Planner Perfect or on a blank page, like making a list thing to like write over the thing, I kind of do like it being wider. So I definitely, I'm going to be using these, yeah, in my journaling. Not really my journaling. I mean, kind of like my planner perfect, like daily gratitudes and affirmations and top three things to make today good. Um, those are fun. That is a fun product. If I have time, I will come in and edit this video and put any prices I have on the screen. I believe they did email us some prices. If I don't have time, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just trying to get this video up for you in one day and then there won't be prices on the screen. You will have to go to their website on launch day. Launch day is July 6th, I believe. I will definitely put that in the video description. So as of right now, these products are not available on their site. We are just allowed to share them with you so you can have a few days to think about them. They're not on their site yet and they will be available. Like I said, I believe the date is July 6th. I will put it up on the screen here and in the description. Okay, so those are the highlighters. That's, that is really fun. And of course, if you're new to Erin Condren, Erin Condren paper is 80 pound. It is amazing. 
paper. Look at that. You can see nothing through there. It has tooth to it, which means it has a little bit of texture. It has an amazing smell. I mean, I love Erin Condren paper. It's my favorite planner paper. There is just, there is no comparison. Now, this is the academic planner. I have a whole review video on the academic planners, but I did not have the, did I have the color blends one? I know I had the Star Wars and I can't remember if I had the Harmony or the color blends. Anyway, I will link that review video on the academic planners because I also had the soft bound and I can't remember what else was in that academic planner video, but there's a really cool Star Wars one in that one. So I will link my academic planners video here in the description. You can go check that out because we're not going to go through this as much in detail since I've already reviewed the academic planner. We'll just do a qu quick flip. This is the color blends academic planner. And I forgot to mention, if you are brand new to Erin Condren and you are making a purchase, I have a $10 off coupon code for you. You click the link that says $10 off Erin Condren down here in the description. You go to fill out for your email for an account. And as long as you haven't signed up for an account with that email yet, then they will email you a $10 off code for your first purchase, like really quickly. So you can use it right away. There's no minimum on that purchase. That's actually how I got started with Erin Condren. So you can only use that $10 off on your first purchase and it can be used on top of any sales or anything else they're doing. So make sure you go there and get the $10 off coupon if it is your first purchase with Erin Condren. I am also an affiliate with Erin Condren. And so anytime you make an Erin Condren purchase, your first or your 50th purchase, if you click through my affiliate link, that just takes you to the Erin Condren website to shop down in the description, then I get credit for your sale. It shows them how many people I bring to them and I make a small percentage of the sale. That is how I get sent these boxes and that is how I keep my channel going, keep giving you new content and sharing things with you. So it helps me out tremendously if you are shopping at any of these companies that I share, if you click through the my affiliate link in the description so that the company knows how many people I bring to them. And like I said, I also make a small percentage of the sale. Thank you so much. It really does matter for me to keep my channel going. Here is the Color Blends Academic Planner. You have a look from July 2022, year at a glance, to December 2023. Every tabbed page is thicker. You have heritage and awareness observances. You have a class schedule for the first semester. So semester, start date, end date, times of all your classes, course name, teachers, locations, credits and notes. Then you have a class schedule for your second semester. Then you have just a blank notes page. Then you go and it starts in August and you have your color blends design in here. And every month you have a goals, events, big notes, projects, and exams for here up to four projects. And then you go into your weekly layout. It's a horizontal layout, but it is different from Erin Condren's normal horizontal layout. You have Monday through Wednesday on the left, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on the right. Saturday and Sunday share a space and are smaller, and you don't have a notes section on your week. So this actually is really different from Erin Condren's horizontal planner, her horizontal life planner, and it's divided into three sections where you could put like timed appointments or classes or a work schedule here. Like you could do a to-do list or notes here, and then like smaller to-dos here, or maybe those are kind of like your daily habits however you wanna divide it up. In the academic planner video, people left great ideas for the way that they use these three sections. So if you're interested in finding out ideas from other people about how they're using those three sections, go click on that academic planners video and read some of the comments. People have amazing ideas. A lot of people use this who are not even in college or high school or school of any kind. They use it as like a work planner since it has a smaller Saturday and Sunday or as a social media planner, as a homeschool planner. I've heard it's in those comments, mom's using it that way. And there's just all different uses. Uses, go check out those comments. Many people were like, I wanna find a way to be able to use the Star Wars academic planner because that is the only planner they are offering that amazing Star Wars design in. That's in my academic planner review. And so there's a lot of ideas for ways you can use that planner if you want some ideas. All right, at the end of the month, and, and this planner is very different than the life planner in the setup also. At the end of the month, you have several notes pages. You don't get that in the life planner, this many notes pages at the end of your month. You have two, 
for five notes pages at the end of your month. Look how pretty that is. And then you go into your next month, your monthly layout, your like goals, events, and notes, projects, and exams, and then your monthly pages. And the color changes midweek when your month changes, which I always love. I'll flip through the tabbed pages really quickly, but I do have um, a really detailed video on color blends versus harmony. I will link that down in the description and also all the different planner options from my huge launch video. If you want to look at all the different Erin Condren life planners and I will link that video in the description too. All those videos are under my Erin Condren playlist, but I'm going to go ahead and link them down there so you can find them easily. So the color blends are the same Erin Condren colors every month, but just in the color blends design. So that is your academic planner. At the end of your academic planner, you do not have a pocket like the life planner. You don't get a pocket. You do get some um, notes pages at the end. Let's see if it's more than your just your monthly end pages. No, it's just the monthly end pages, like your five, two, four. No, it's more. Six, seven, eight at the very end of your planner. You get some stickers, study guide, no class, test, paper due, really pretty in the color blends. But there's no pocket in here. It doesn't come with a perpetual calendar or a ruler like your life planner, but it is a lower price. I cannot remember. These are already on the site though. Life planners are already on the site. Look at that cute new cover. I have not seen that one yet. That's a cute floral new cover. All right, we better leave the notebook up here because we're going to need somewhere to test all these pens out and these other pro products. Let's look through here. These are dashboards to stick in your planner. So they clip in. If you're new to Erin Condren, you have covers that can pop on and pop off. They're interchangeable covers. So you can always change them out to a new cover and buy other covers. These will clip in to mark spots in your planner or notebooks. And you can write on them with wet erase markers. This is a projects and exams color blends one dashboard. So it looks like there's four projects, project, class, details, important dates, completed, deadline. So these are for permanent things you might be working on for months. There's three on the back and then long-term assignments and upcoming exams. So this might be really good to keep track of things if you like to write with wet erase markers and you wanna have this like permanently in your planner for long-term projects and to have like upcoming exams listed and stuff. This is a school tracker. Look how pretty this one is in color blends. Class, assignment, due date to just see all at once. Top priorities, you have five there. A note section at the bottom. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for maybe scheduling. Long-term assignments. Upcoming quizzes and tests. And next week. So those are some new dashboards with this back to school launch. Let's look at what else we have here. What do we have going on? I kind of want to save the pens for last. So let's just look through the other products. We have a lot of pens to test, you guys. And let's open this baby up. I have bought some of these accordion bags before. But maybe this is a new color. I have not seen this one with the back to school launch. That's a really pretty color scheme. So you just pull them all apart. It is six bags. These are also good for travel, for cords and stuff, or little kids who like to bring little toys in the car and little snacks, as long as they're old enough to know how to do a zipper and zip it back. You have a cream, kind of a gold, a pink, orange, mauve, and like a purple. That's a really pretty color scheme. So that is your accordion pack. I don't know what they call it, accordion and zipper pouch. It's a cool product to have if you don't have any. It's, it's nice to have one to play with and to use. This week's projects and exams, this is a notepad. So this is nice. You just every week list out your projects and exams, check if it's a project or exam, prep, and then a note section. So you get some pretty florals with that to match that new cover. Sticky notepad, okay, so this one's sticky. This one is, oh, this one is too. And they're using Post-it brand on this one. But there's no post-it brand on this one. So let's open it up. Okay, so this one is not, this is sticky. Yes, this is sticky. And it is post-it brand. So I'm thinking it's going to stick really well. That was two together. I'm going to stick one on the foam board next to me while I'm filming and see what happens. I love that they have partnered with post-it brand because if it's the post-it brand sticky, it's going to work, you guys. 
This one though is not labeled Post-it brand sticky on the back, so I don't think it is because I think all the ones from their Post-it line are labeled. This week's self-care, habits, and this week's joy. That's a really cute thing for a student to use. So just thinking about something, your self-care for the week and check on your habits for the week and this week's joy. And it is a sticky. It feels sticky too though, you guys. Maybe it's Post-it brand. I'm going to stick it on the whiteboard. I'm going to test those out there while we're talking. Okay, let's move on to this huge, massive paperclip um, gold bookmark ruler. This is, am I going to be able to open this with just my scissors? I am not sure because these scissors are not that strong, but mm, go Fiskar. Okay, I love these little kid scissors. Don't ask me why. I keep them all over the house. That is a big gold bookmark ruler. Let's try it on a page of the planner, or I mean the notebook. So if you stick it in there, wow, it is like a page marker. It marks your page, it sticks up. I think it works well. It's really thin. And I mean, I don't know that it'd be really easy to use it as a ruler, but that is a cute little accessory. Okay, we have a blush calculator. I bet this doesn't have batteries in it, so I'm probably not going to be able to make it work. It's just a really pretty blush color. Probably nothing I would actually ever buy because I don't need like a blush calculator. And obviously if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm not like huge into keeping props for all my pictures because, oh, it's working. Looks like they have the battery in it. Perfect. Wow, the buttons are kind of fun to push, you guys. It has a little up level there, so it sits just right on the desk. And I can see how kids would like to punch this. It's kind of fun. It's like the old school button feel. So that is your calculator. And we have a fun functional planner sticker book. Hmm. Let's look. Here's what all is in here. We are going to look really quickly. So it's very pastel and all functional like boxes you can fill in. A lot of boxes, little icons, payday, more boxes. Oh, you have like those clear kind of translucent dots which mark things on the year at a glance calendar really well. These are always hard to get off, uh, especially if you're doing something fast on camera. So I'm not gonna be able to, to get one, you guys. But I have used those before on those little year at a glance calendars in the beginning of your planner. Weekly chores, today's focus, priorities, today, weekend, vacation, and just more boxes of all different sizes. Today to do goals, errands, more boxes and tick offs and like your label boxes for appointment times. So if you like pastel, and you like functional stickers that are like those pastel colors, that might be something that you're interested in. A5, I didn't even grab my ring agenda. A5 ring agenda dividers, four pack. Oh, I can see how this would be really useful. Um, I did not grab my ring agendas from Erin Condren, but it comes with these four dividers. They're very heavy duty and they're all coated. These four colors, they're beautiful. And I can see how these would be so handy. And they come with stickers, notes, important today, lists, or you make your own and stick them on. So that is for the A5 ring agenda. All right, then we have this little notebook we have not talked about. This is a kid's reading log. It does not have their metal coil. It has a plastic clear coil on here. Let's see, let's see what's in here because I have not looked in here. A kid's reading log. About me, that is beautiful. I love the colors in here. My top five favorite books are, some of my favorite book characters are, some of my favorite genres, some of my favorite authors, some of my favorite places to read are. My reading goals, so goal started, goal completed, my reading goal reward. Okay, so different reading goals throughout the year. How many are there? Six on each page. And there's two pages, so okay, you could have a reading goal a month. That's nice. Um, once again, tabbed pages are extra thick like cardstock and it's labeled reading log. 
So this is just date, book title, author, minutes read. I can see why adults would want to use this, not just kids. Like so far, I like this, although it's called the kids reading log. Let me know your thoughts on that. And I like how every page of the reading log is in a different color. That is room for a lot of books, you guys. So even if they're reading smaller books, really small chapter books or pictures books and whizzing through them, you have a huge amount of reading log pages there. I'm guessing 12 for the 12 months, but I have not counted them. All right, book review, book rating, date started, date finished, title, author, genre, page count. I read this book for school or reading challenge or fun, reading level. I recommend this book, yes or no. What was the book about? My favorite part of the book, thoughts, quotes, or doodles about this book. I love this. I think this is so cute and motivational for kids or adults. So you have a whole bunch of pages, all colorful. I love the colors they've chosen and how they've chosen to use the shaded boxes. All these pages are a book review. So every set, every set of pages, you have a book review on every two page spread. Awesome. My favorite books ever. So your favorites list, book title, author. So you have a lot of room for favorites. Wow, there, there's a lot of favorites here. I mean, depending on how much you read, this book could last you for years. Books I want to read, so a want to read list. That's awesome. Several of those pages, you're not going to want to run out of these pages. This is awesome. I love this product. It is adorable. This feels like it's going to hold up really well. I, I don't mind the plastic coil at all. I like the look of it, and it feels like it's very durable. I love how they have it divided. Reading log, book review, and book list. I'm at A5 size, I think they've done a stellar job on this. This is one of my favorite things in this whole box. Okay, love that. Now we are finally to the pen testing, you guys. Let's jump in here and open these babies up and test these. Magnetic ballpoint pen. Okay, let's see. We have, they're beautiful, but let's see how they write right because that is the magnetic what does that mean magnetic I don't even know okay it seems like it's a gel pen it's definitely a gel my guess is like 0.5 um, it flows pretty well there's a tiny bit of give in the tip a tiny bit yeah oh no there's a lot of give when you push hard Wow, I wonder what that means. There's, you can push the tip way down. Okay, so it's just, it's a black gel pen. I mean, I don't think that um, the flow of it is gonna take over like me loving my Pentel Energel, to be honest. Oh, it's magnetic, the, the top is magnetic. I can feel it, so it goes on there with a magnet. They're cute though, it's a cute set of black gel pens. Magnetic, they call them ballpoint, but this is gel ink. This is gel, you guys. But if you look on there, you can kind of see how I write all the way to the side and not up and down usually. How you see how there's a little bit of, um, I don't know what you call that, bumpiness, where it's not completely flowing um, when I was writing to the side there on their tooth paper. So that's the way it looks. And it's weird because I want to push the top on, but it's magnetic. <laughs> so it just goes on there, okay. Color changing brush pens, six pack. Okay, this seems really fun, even though I don't know how to brush letter, but let's let's look at these. Okay, color changing. Let's see what this does. Maybe I should have looked at the back of the box. Oh, gold to red, tangerine to gold, red to lemon. Okay, we'll leave that there. Does that mean if I go over it with this end? Oh, you guys, kids are going to love this. Even adults. Oh, you guys, that is so cool. I cannot tell you. Okay, this is the best item in the box so far to me. Oh, these are amazing. Okay, I love those. They, they work really well. Okay, we have to test each one out. Okay, that's a dark purple. Oh, it says iris to fuchsia. That's what this one is. <gasps> oh, those are pretty. Okay, now it's weird. 
it kind of makes it a little of a bumpy thing because um, maybe it's the Erin Condren toothy paper. So I will have to test it on other papers, but it doesn't bother me at all. Um, I can't wait to try these in my planner. Perfect. Let's try this one. I can't be writing complicated words while I'm trying to talk, you guys. Nothing beyond hello and hi. <laughs> um, I will have to update you on Instagram on how these work on other paper. But look, look at that. You guys, this is so fun. Like I can see kids drawing with these, you know, and then you get to come in and make some kind of design. People who are artistic could do really amazing things with these. Let's just test the rest really quickly. This, I don't know how they thought of this product, but this is really fun. I'm actually really into it. Okay, let's look. Ooh, I love that color. This is probably going to be my favorite one. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I love it. Okay, let's look at the back of the page. So these are color changing brush pens. Those are fun. You guys, that I'm trying to read a little bit. I didn't. So even on the Erin Condren 80 pound paper, those are very dark. There is ghosting. There is definite ghosting, but no bleed through. No bleed through at all. Those are fun. Okay. Colorful fine liner pens. Okay. 10 pens. I do not know how this package works, you guys. Oh, that's very cool. Look at that. I wonder if that hooks. Yeah. It's supposed to hook on the back and then like hold up for you. That That is nice. Okay, let's test these out. Colorful fine liner pens. So these are the very fine, they're very fine tips. Um, it says 0 0.4, 0 0.4 millimeter tips. That's a pretty color though. That is a beautiful color. Here's the colors. Marigold, garnet, purple, amethyst, black, dusk, navy. I think this is dusk. Um, cerulean, aloe, and aquamarine. Okay, those are, these could be fun to write with. Generally, that one's too light for me. I'm not sure which one that is. If that's marigold, it's very light. But generally, I will write in my planner perfect with these. I don't generally use colored pens in my planning. They are a very, very fine tip though. And I do feel like if you're someone who pushes hard, that these tips are gonna get pushed down very quickly. So I definitely don't think they're for younger kids or any kids who are going to push tips down because like I said, they I think they could get ruined very quickly by anyone who pushes down extremely hard. But those are beautiful. Those are pretty colors and it's a really cool case here. We'll just try one more. I really like the colors though. All right, so Erin Condren is coming out with a lot of new writing supplies. This is our last one, you guys. Then we are done with this very um, different video <laughs> with no prep at all. Rainbow Gel Pen Duo. Okay, let's look at this. We got to take the tips off of these. There. Ooh, that is, that is bright. Bright. Okay, I'm trying to throw that red tip in the trash. And this one will probably be some kind of magenta purple, huh? Oh, no, it's just a very light purple. That is, that's pretty. I mean, these are pretty. It's not what I write in my planner with, but sometimes I'll use like a color like this per month if I really like a color like in my planner perfect. Although these might not be ones that I would use. This one's not quite dark enough for me, for my old eyes, and neither is this one. <laughs> Although this one is bright. So these are just gel pens that are these. If you're in love with these colors, then you might want them. And they have the nice clippy thing though. And they are really nice feel because they have this little grip. They feel nice in hand and have the nice clip thing. And nice, I love the, you know, now I can't even think the push in and out. You guys, this is my second video in a row to film today. So my mind's a little bit mush and I didn't even know about these products. So <laughs> just forgive 
this video. I don't know if you how you guys are gonna like this type of thing, but it can clip onto your Erin Condren thing, or it can even clip on here. Anyway, that is our back to school video, you guys. I love back to school time. As a former teacher, I taught like 20 years ago before I had my boys. I taught for three years, kindergarten and public school. And then I have homeschooled my second son since first grade and he's starting eighth grade next year. And then my oldest son went to public school until 10th grade. In 10th grade, he came home to homeschool. And he finished high school in two years instead of the last three homeschooling. But, and then I just love school supplies, period, like growing up. So I love back to school time with all that history I have teaching and homeschooling. And I was very excited to get to receive this back to school box to share with you. And I, I just really wanted to get the video out there for you guys to see it and think on it for a few days before they launch. All right, guys, thanks for being here and watching and sticking with me on this video. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.